Alright guys, so I just got back from Costco and I'm about to show you all of the food items that I got. My family and I tend to eat pretty healthy and while we don't buy everything organic, if it makes sense price-wise, we will be definitely more inclined to buy organic. And there's so many great organic options at Costco, so I'm really excited to share with you all the things that we purchased today. This isn't a weekly grocery haul by any means because we go to Costco every two months or so. Anyways guys, let me know if you enjoyed this by giving it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel and are interested in healthy living videos, Feel free to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here, and let's get into the haul. All right, guys, this is like a total disaster, but we do not have a large table, so I'm just gonna show you guys randomly what I got, and I hope that you enjoy. First off, we got these organic Fuji apples. I liked my apples organic because they tend to have more pesticides than other things. Can you hold on just a second, sweetie? I also got these organic green beans, which I love to saute. We were running low on butter, so I got Kerrygold butter, which is delicious. It's made from grass-fed milk or grass-fed cows. We love the organic berries they have from Costco because they're pretty affordable. So we got the strawberries and then the blueberries as well, which my daughter, she loves to just snack on both of these. So they are great options. Just a minute. You love the blueberries, huh? Um, I got a big bag of walnuts. These are not organic. I also got some fresh blueberries as well, and these are not organic because I know we will eat these as well, and they're such a good price. Do you want one? Here, I should wash these guys, don't judge me. All of us love to snack on fruit, so I got these grapes as well. Grapes have been expensive lately, but these were a decent price for as many as you get. We have been eating a lot of salmon lately, but I decided to mix it up and go with cod. I like that you can kind of mix up the flavor of cod more, and wild salmon is a lot more expensive than wild cod, so we decided to go with the cod. We also got a big box of organic baby spinach, which we like to eat all sorts of ways in smoothies and scrambled with eggs. Here, let me help you, sweetie. My daughter is trying to eat all of these blueberries, aren't you? Are you trying to eat the blueberries? Uh, <laughs> we got a bunch of salami. My daughter loves to snack on salami, so that is an easy, quick protein for her. We got a big box of kiwis. I'm probably gonna chop up the different fruit we have and make a fruit salad. Some organic fresh strawberries. I definitely enjoy eating fresh strawberries more than frozen strawberries myself. So, and these were a great price for organic. Then we also got two dozen organic eggs right here from Costco. These are a decent price. They're pretty comparable to well-priced organic eggs elsewhere. We also got some medjool dates, which are really good if you're pregnant and to prepare you for labor. And they're delicious in smoothies or plain, and my daughter likes to snack on these as well, of course, because they're so sweet and sugary. And then here are the last things that we got. This was a total splurge. I normally don't buy stuff like that because it's pretty pricey for fizzy water. But my midwife is someone who's pretty focused on not having a lot of sugar. So I thought, you guys, I'm just giving her the snacks that she wants so that I can film this. Okay, yeah. mommy's gonna give you one. You better keep it in your mouth. Please don't squirt it everywhere. Totally just caught that. Okay, so like I was saying, my midwife has been wanting me to make sure I don't have too much sugar because she's like that with everyone. And that's really hard for me, mostly because I love fruit. I don't eat a ton of other sugary things, but I love fruit. Okay, and the occasional scoop of coconut ice cream. But I have also been really dehydrated, so I just decided to treat myself with these because these are so yummy if you haven't had these. I really like this particular brand. They're just these sparkling flavored waters that are really, really good. I got these tomatoes as well, and I got this avocado oil, which we just ran out of. I really like this because it is very mild flavored. It's almost flavorless, which I really prefer sometimes over olive oil. And then the last thing that we got was this granola. I was interested in this because the sugar was pretty low for granola, and then it's gluten-free. So I'm excited to see how this tastes. All right, there was one more thing. The last thing that I got were these organic granola bars. Granola bars tend to be really pricey if you don't buy them in bulk, so I went with this box. This will definitely last us a while, and my whole family will snack on these. My kind of rule with these is we try to save them for when we're out of the house because they definitely are more of a convenience food, but I personally really like these ones. I kind of get sick of different granola bars pretty easily, so I decided to grab these this time around. Anyways, guys, this is the food that we got from Costco. We probably go to Costco once every two months or so. We definitely don't go all the time. So a lot of this stuff in here, besides the fresh produce, like the walnuts. Oh, I totally forgot to mention that we got this big bag of frozen broccoli. I have not got this before, but this was a little bit cheaper than the organic frozen broccoli that I normally get. And I personally love to use frozen broccoli because I hate when broccoli kind of goes bad and I really don't mind the texture of frozen broccoli once it's cooked. 
All right, guys, let me know your favorite Costco products down below and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. I love you guys and I hope you are having a beautiful week and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.